it's something you can do if you have bad credit. It's a tool that you can use to help you begin to build good credit. You may or may not have heard the term buying credit. What does that mean actually? Well, it's something you can do if you have bad credit. It's a tool that you can use to help you begin to build good credit. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes months to do. Can can take years. It really just depends on you. But <clears throat> the short version is you deposit your money into a bank or credit union and then you use that money as collateral for a loan from that same bank or credit union. Now, as I said, I mean, this, this does work, and it works very, very well, very effectively. But you need to have, and, and you'll need to call your local bank, credit union, and shop around to different ones, not just the ones that you use. Find out what is the minimum amount that they will put into a certificate of deposit, a CD. And let's say it's $2,500. So you save up $2,500 and you put that into a CD which is going to earn you interest. And by having that money in the CD, let's say it's in a three-year CD. So that money is sitting there for three years and it's not going to earn you a tremendous amount of interest but it will earn you some but again it's about using tools so once you have that after it's been sitting at that bank for three months or so go back to that same bank borrow a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars something like that two thousand dollars and you use that CD as the collateral to guarantee that loan. That way, if you default on the loan, you don't pay it back, the bank's already got their money because they're going to take that CD that you use for the collateral. If there's anything left, then they'll, they'll give you that remaining balance. But if you take out that small loan and then you pay it back, Okay, now that's good mark on your credit. So you take out that small loan, don't spend that money. Put that money in a savings account in another bank. In three months, six months, that's been earning you a little bit of interest. Now you take that money out. You've been making the payments every month. You're going to take that money out of that savings account and you use it to pay off that loan early. You've made a little bit of money, maybe enough to buy yourself dinner, a nice dinner somewhere, but you made a little bit of money off of the interest while it's been sitting in that savings account. And you've paid that loan off to pay it off early. So the bank's going to report that loan to all the credit bureaus and it's going to give you a good credit score from that bank. And you can repeat this process many times. Now, come tax season, that little bit of interest that you earned, yes, you're going to have to pay taxes on that little bit of interest. But the bank's going to send you the, the paperwork, just like getting the W-2 in the mail or something. It's the same thing. But if you can save up, say, $5,000, now you can have two CDs at two different 
financial institutions and you can use those to leverage loans and you just keep repeating that process you know it, it, it really depends on your situation it depends on how quickly you're trying to do something also keep in mind that anytime somebody finances something for you you know get a letter from them and you can take that letter that says hey you know I sold sold Joe this pickup truck for five thousand dollars and he agreed to pay me X, X amount of money each month and he for for however many months and he paid it off early you send that in a copy of that into all three major credit bureaus and request that that be put on your credit report and they will do that and it doesn't cost you a nickel so keep things like this in mind these are tools for you to use and I really hope that you will use these tools to your advantage because tools money is just a tool and just like a mechanic has his toolbox filled with all the different tools to do his job, you need to identify and utilize the tools you have at your disposal to help you do your job, help you accomplish your goals and fulfill your life's ambitions. So buying credit is an option years ago I did it myself I've told my children when they were first trying to establish credit to do things like that another thing is you can go to discover card and if you've got two hundred dollars to put into a savings account with discover they'll give you a credit uh, discover credit card with a two hundred dollar limit that's a secured credit card you can find secured credit cards at a number of different places and all of them the credit line that they give you on that card will match what you have deposited with them so again use the tools that are at your disposal to help benefit you but that's what buying credit is getting a secured credit card you know if you put two hundred dollars on deposit with Discover or 2000 or 10000 Whatever you put with them, they're going to give you a credit card with that kind of credit limit. So buy credit, use secured credit cards, and start building your credit. Get it where you need it to be so that you can accomplish what you want to do in life. Good luck to you. I got to get rolling. They've given me the green light. I'll see you down the road. Bye.